Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here. Today I'm going to show you how I do my labs and I'm using GNS3 with a VM running on VMware Workstation. So today I'm going to show you the whole setup and how you can put it in place for yourself. And that's because I'm planning to create a lot of videos on uh, FortiGate and Cisco. So I'm going to show you in some of my next videos how you can install the FortiGate on your GNS3, the Cisco switch, the Cisco router, Ostinado, and everything I'll be using for my labs. There are many ways for you to build your labs. You can use packet tracer if you are a beginner or you're studying for the ccna or something like that and talking about the ccna i have a course on kb training going from zero to engineer so if you want to become good at networking security cloud or everything tech you can check out that course it goes from zero to engineer and it's going to help you tech and pass the ccna 200 301 without any problem so at the ccna level packet tracer works fine but you have more advanced options like gns3 to me it's my preferred way because it's very realistic very very professional and you really feel the devices when you are using them. Packet Tracer really feels like a simulation and it can also have some limited options. You can also use EVNG but it's been a while since I touched it so I don't know what's going on in that part of the world. One of the things I like about GNS3 compared to EVNG is the packet capture. It's very easy for me to capture a packet on GNS3 and fire up Wireshark to see what's inside. And just like I said I have VMware Workstation 17 running on this computer. This is the dashboard you can see I have a couple VMs including the GNS3 VM that is running on here. I'm going to show you how to install it and get it started. This is where all my project or topologies are running and I can access the project using the GNS3 client, the desktop client that is here or I can also use the web interface where you can also see a project without any problem. So you have both those options depending on what is easier for you. For the hardware I use in some of my old videos on this channel, I showed you how I was using my 12U rack with a couple Dell servers running ESXi to run all my labs and since I moved into this house I've never had a time to rebuild those servers again so I had to find some other solutions to build my VM but fortunately I have enough hardware now and I don't need to rebuild those servers anymore so right next to me I have a Windows desktop there is another video in the description where I show you how I built this computer here this one has an Intel Core i9 with 3.6 gigahertz of CPU it can run up to 5.2 gigahertz on turbo it has 96 gigabyte of RAM so you understand that I have enough memory to build as many VMs as I need. The second hardware is the Synology NAS sitting behind me. This one has 32 gigs and I have a bunch of VMs on there. And the last element is a PC that I showed you on this channel when I was upgrading the RAM. That one has 32 gig as well and I have VMware Workstation. So I have enough hardware to build all my VMs as needed but I picked the desktop, the Windows desktop to run Genesis 3 on it. So now how do you build the lab? The first thing is you need to get VMware Workstation station you can get it from vmware website vmware.com or you can just google download vmware workstation the license for the vmware workstation 17 pro is 200 so you need to get a license in order to use it that can be expensive but all i can say is that if you know your way around the internet you can find some keys out there so i'm not going to comment on that but it's definitely possible so to download the executable you need to sign in to your account if you have an account with vmware if you don't have an account you can create one by just going under account and create an account here you can fill out your information and log into it and since I have an account let me just log into my account and I'll show you how to download and that will bring you under your customer connect account so you can go under products and select all product and here you have the list of all the product from VMware so we can scroll down all the way to desktop and end user computing and we have VMware workstation right here and we can click on download product and this is where you can download what you need if you have a windows or a linux computer so i have a windows i'm going to download this one here and once you accept these general terms you can save it anywhere inside your computer and that's it so the next thing we need to do is to download the gns3 vm as well so for that you go under gns3.com here you also need to create an account if you don't have an account if you have an account just log into it and go under software and free download here you can download the gns3 client if you have a windows computer a mac computer or a linux computer i have a windows computer so i'm going to download the client from here and once the client is downloaded i can also go ahead and click on this link to download the gns3 vm and we have many options you can download it for virtualbox for workstation or fusion this is what we're going to do today 
you can download it for exxi or for hyper-v so you don't have to use vmware workstation you can have virtualbox exxi or hyper-v so mine is workstation i'm going to hit download and i will save that file somewhere and it's going to be a zip file so you need to unzip it inside a certain folder to get the ova file that you're going to open inside vmware workstation so let me go in this vm and show you how i install everything for the vmware workstation you just need to double click and it's going to start the installation the installation should be very straightforward once the installation is complete, you click on license. Here you need to insert your license. You can buy it on VMware's website or you can do your best. It's 2023 anyway. So I have my license. I'm going to plug it in and it is activated. I can launch the application. So we have a new install of VMware Pro 17. I am going to build the GNS3 VM here. So I need to go under file, open. And again, you need to unzip the file to see the GNS3 VM file. So I'm just gonna open it. I need to give it the name. I'll just say GNS3 VM import. So when you have your VM built, you can go under settings to change the configurations on the VM. If you want to increase the memory, if you want to add more CPU. Actually, then let me just show you what I have on my computer here. So I go on my VMware workstation. So this is my current VM, Gen S3. As you can see, it has the IP of 10.35.0.7. This is my local network's IP and it does this because it's directly connected to my home network. And if you want to make sure you are connected to your network, you need to go under edit and virtual network editor this will allow you to edit the virtual networks the bridge network is connected to my ethernet port so that's why i have access directly to my home network and that's where i'm connected so if you do a right click and go under settings under memory i gave it 64 gig depending on what you have on your laptop or your desktop you can give it more or less processors i gave it eight the hard drive is as it came and there is a second hard drive as well and for the network adapter i make sure it's under the bridge network so that it's going to be connected to my local lan and if you also want to change the network configuration you can hit enter and go select network this is the configuration file that you can edit so the file is here you can change anything here if you want to move from dhcp or i mean move away from dhcp and enter the ip manually just like i did you can also put the default gateway and the dns server so when you finish you do Control x and it's going to restart the vm so let's get it started again and i will show you what you can set up in the client so meanwhile let's go to the virtual machine and we're going to install the gns3 client the application is here i double click on it and then you go next agree next 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 and the client is installing solo party i don't want that next i don't want solo wings next and i can start the gns3 at the same time i need to make sure the vm is also running so just like i said you can access the vm or the gns3 vm from the web by going to the ip here i have uh, gns3.local that is my local gns3 i can see everything all my projects from this main page here i can open anything i want or if i'm on the client i need to make sure i go under edit and preferences on the server i need to disable the local server on uh, on my on my desktop and i need to go under vm enable the gns3 vm actually if you're running it on the same computer you don't even have to enable it apparently you just need to select what is the hypervisor you use is it virtualbox is it workstation or is it remote it should be able to detect your vm and will connect to it just like you can see here i'm using my vm and that's where everything's coming from so stick around if you want to see how i build the 40 gates the switches the routers osnado and everything else and if you like this video don't forget to like it on youtube and subscribe to the channel if you like my labs and if you want to learn and grow with me also follow me on facebook and instagram for the behind the scene and to get in touch and don't forget the course on the ccna 200 301 on kbtrans.com thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care and bye